Happy election night. I hope you're having fun. I know Wall Street's having a great time because Wall Street has recouped from the 2008 recession and is thriving. But that same success has yet to lift up Main Street America. What accounts for the anemic recovery? Well, let's talk to Dr. Ron Paul. He says it's central planning, tinkering with the economy, and the Fed is the instrument of their woeful fiddling. Dr. Ron Paul, he is the host of the Ron Paul Liberty Report, former Texas congressman and presidential candidate, joins me now. Hi, Dr. Paul. Hello there. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad to be talking about this because, uh, you know, I've talked with some of my coworkers about the Fed's role in, uh, in the sluggish economy, and they kind of laugh at me. You know, they, they point to the success of Wall Street, but what is the correlation between Wall Street doing well and uh, many Americans still hurting and the Fed? Well, their policy is mainly designed to protect Wall Street, and they believe if Wall Street does well, everybody's going to be richer, and they're going to once again start spending money. So they miss the whole point of where the problems are and why we have not had a correction. They do not want to blame the Federal Reserve. Matter of fact, since 1987 crisis we had, uh, we brought about this plunge protection team, and that's mainly to keep stock prices up and they do a pretty good job keeping stock prices up but middle-class America suffers the unemployment is very bad and uh, the half one half of the population is really in, in recession or depression yeah uh, but I believe they refuse to look at the real problem and they will not deal with the Fed and how the Fed caused this mess well let's talk about interest rates I mean they are being kept artificially low uh, what is that doing to the economy and what is that doing not only to average investors but working Americans well, it certainly helps Wall Street. I mean, anytime there's a slightest hint of the Fed allowing interest rates to go up, Wall Street goes nuts. So it's serving the interests of Wall Street. But what it does, it destroys the most important price that exists in a free market economy, and that is the price of borrowing money, the interest rates. So you, do, you get false information. Low interest rates means the economy is thriving, people are prosperous, they're spending money, they have money left over, they save it, and they drive interest rates down. But none of that is true. Yeah. Interest rates are artificial because the Fed just creates credit or, the, you know, they create capital out of thin air. It's not a real capital. It's fake capital, and they're artificially low interest rates. So everybody's been misled by low interest rates. Yeah, it's, it's this monopoly money. Now, what should the next president do? We're going to have a new president. We're going to vote in less than six months. Should they end the Fed? Yeah, they, they should, but I guess the tougher question is what could a president do? <laughs> and not a whole lot, because the, what has to be done, and the comments I've made recently, is you have to have the correction. You have to liquidate the mistakes. You have to get rid of all the malinvestment and the overcapacity, and politically that's impossible. Nobody will permit it. That would have meant that in 08, you would have just allowed the bankruptcies to roll. Yeah. And, oh, no, we couldn't have done that. Now, I was but one of those people in 08 that was saying, you know, what does too big to fail mean? Why can't you let these banks go? Why can't you let these institutions die? Why are we propping them up? Why are we propping up a false economy with theoretical currency that is uh, it's creating even more stagnation and pain? Well, because the crony capitalists would suffer, and they're in charge. They're in charge behind the scenes. So although the Fed is very, very independent, there are a lot of people behind the scenes, and that is the large corporations and the system in Wall Street and the bond market, and the need for deficit spending, the foreign policy has to be financed, the welfare state. So nobody will dare touch that, and yet that's the only thing that will allow the correction. Mm. The markets are powerful. The bankruptcy, the liquidation will come, yeah. but it's going to be so much more painful because it's going to be the collapse of the currency and all the debt is going to be wiped off the books. Yep. So it's a terrible situation. So even a sincere new president would be incapable of overcoming uh, what, what we're facing today. Yeah, sacred cows give sour milk. Thank you so much, Dr. Paul. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you.